my first question is what is the power required to drive the forced rod fan as well as induced rod fan explain with the help of solve problem second question is what is the efficiency of the chimney explain with the help of solve problem let us first understand induced a fan rod and forced a fan rod induced a fan is located at the entrance of chimney it draws the flue gases from this combustion chamber and forced inside the chimney now what about the forced a fan rod forced a fan is located at the entrance of the fire grate it draws the air outside the boiler and forced inside the combustion chamber now if we observe these two types of rod that is the induced fan rod and forced fan rod are the types of the fan rod that is the rod is produced by fan now we will understand what is the power required to drive a fan so it is the power required to do internal work on air or flue gas to deliver its a certain volume now what is the formula now we know that this fan is driven by the motor so we can say that the power of motor driving a fan p is equal to is small p multiplied by v divided by 60 into nita f and unit is watts now if we observe this power is for capital p and this small p is used for the draw pressure now we will understand this notation so this small p is draw pressure and unit is newton per meter square now when we have to write this draw pressure in terms of manometer that is in terms of millimeter of water by manometer then how we can write so here newton per meter square is equal to 9.81 multiplied by h so this h is nothing but the h is millimeter of water so this is the formula so we can also use here the p in newton per meter square or we can use here 9.81 multiplied by h then v so this v is the volume of gas flowing through the fan in meter cube per minute and nita f this is the efficiency of the fan let us understand the formulas for the power required to drive forced fan rod as well as induced fan rod so first formula is for the power required to drive forced fan rod so if we observe this forced fan rod is located at the entrance of the fire grate and it draws the outside air which is having temperature t1 so how we will write this formula so power that is capital p is equal to small p multiplied by small m multiplied by capital m t1 divided by 60 into 353 into nita f now what is this p so this p is nothing but the draw pressure which is given in newton per millimeter square then this small m so this small m is the mass of air actually used in kilogram per kilogram of air then capital m is the mass of air in kilogram per minute then t1 that is the temperature or we can say absolute temperature of outside air in kelvin and nita f is the fan efficiency so these two numbers 60 and 353 are constants now if the pressure is given in terms of manometer that is in millimeter of water then how we will write so we know that this pressure p is equal to 9.81 into h millimeter of water so we will replace this p in terms of 9.81 into h and we will use the remaining same formula that is small m capital m t1 divided by 60 into 353 into nita f so these two formulas we can use as per the given data now we will move for the next that is the power required to drive the induced fan rod so this induced fan rod draws the flue gas which is having temperature t2 so we will write here this flue gas is having temperature t2 so what is the formula so capital p is equal to small p small m capital m t2 
divided by 60 into 353 into meter F. Now, this T2, that means here we have to use the temperature T2 because this induced a fan draws the flue gas which is having temperature T2. So, how we can define this T2? That is the absolute temperature of gases in Kelvin. So, it's a unit should be in Kelvin. Now, if we observe, if we have to write this pressure in terms of millimeter of water by manometer, then we have to replace this P with 9.81 into H. And remaining formula, we have to keep the same. So, we can use either any one formula as per the given data. We will solve one problem. I will read what is the given question. For a forced rod fan, following data is given. Mass of air required 20 kg per kg of fuel. Mass of fuel used 1500 kg per hour. Temperature of outside air 42 degree Celsius. Temperature of chimney gas 168 degree Celsius. Drought pressure 40 mm of water. Efficiency of fan 70%. Determine the power required to drive a fan. If boiler is equipped with induced rod fan instead of forced rod fan, what will be the power required to drive it? So this was the given question. Let us first understand what is the given data. So mass of air is given that is 20 kg per kg of fuel. So we will use here the notation small m. Then the mass of fuel that is capital M is equal to 1500 kg per hour. But if we observe in the formula, we have to use capital M that is in kilogram per minute. So we have to convert this term into kilogram per minute. Now in one hour, there are total 60 minutes. So we have to take here 1500 divided by 60. So it is equal to 25 kilogram per minute. Then temperature T1 is given that is temperature of outside air 42 degree Celsius. So in Kelvin. 42 plus 273 that is 315 Kelvin. Then temperature of chimney gas that is the flue gas 168 degree Celsius that is equal to 441 Kelvin. Then H is also given that is for the millimeter of water that is for the manometer this H is used. And here meta F that is the efficiency of fan 70% that is 70 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.7. Now this fan is given as a forced rod fan. So we will first find out what is the power required to drive a forced rod fan. So we will use here as a P1. So that is the suffix 1 for the forced rod fan. And we will use the formula in terms of H. That is 9.81. So we will write here 9.81 into H. H is 40 millimeter of water. That is multiplied by 40 into small m. So small m is again 20 then multiplied by capital M. Capital M is 25 kilogram per minute. So 25 and T1. So this forced rod fan is related to this outside air. So T1 is equal to 315. We have to take. Divided by 60 into 353 into nita F that is 0 0.7 which is equal to 4167 watt. So it's a unit is watt. So whenever as per the given data if we put all the values then unit is watt. Then in the same way, if instead of forced rod fan, induced rod fan is installed, then instead of T1, we have to use here the temperature T2. Because this induced rod fan is related to temperature T2. It draws the flue gases from this combustion chamber and forced into the chimney. So we will use the same data, that is 9.81 into 40 multiplied by 20 into 25 into T2. So T2 is... 441. So instead of here 315, I will use 441 Kelvin divided by 60 into 353 into 0 0.7. Then what is the answer? So here the industrial rod fan, I will use here suffix 2 and P2 is equal to 5833 watt. So this is the answer. Now we will understand the term efficiency of chimney. So this efficiency of chimney nita C is the ratio. So it is the ratio of energy required to produce artificial draught in joule per kilogram of flue gas. Divided by mechanical equivalent of extra heat carried away 
per kilogram of flue gas due to natural drought. Now if we observe here is the ratio for the artificial drought divided by the natural drought. So how we will define in terms of formula. So here the energy required to produce artificial drought that is equal to H dash G. Now what is this H dash? So if we observe this diagram then here is the H dash that is shown. And this H dash is the height of flue gas column of artificial drought produced in meter. So here is the, this is H dash that is the artificial drought produced in meter. So here energy required to produce artificial drought that is equal to artificial drought produced in meter multiplied by G. So G is the acceleration due to gravity that is 9.81 we have to use here. And it's a unit is joule per kilogram of flue gas divided by. Now we have to take mechanical equivalent of extra heat carried away per kilogram of flue gas due to natural drought. So here we have to use what is the effect of natural drought because of the natural drought. The mechanical equivalent of extra heat that we have to find out. So extra heat how to find out because of the natural drought. So heat is equal to mcp delta t that is the mass multiplied by cp that is the specific heat multiplied by the temperature difference. Now here m that is the mass we have to take 1 because it is per kilogram of flue gas that is for 1 kilogram of flue gas. So m we will take 1. Now cp that is the specific heat. So this specific heat is given in kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. But what is the unit here? That is joule per kilogram. So when Cp is given in kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin, we have to multiply here with 1000. That is 1000 into Cp. Then temperature difference. So what is how this temperature difference we have to take? So we have to take this temperature difference of the flue gas only. But the temperature of flue gas with natural drought. So this temperature of flue gas with natural drought is T2. And the temperature of flue gas with artificial drought that is T. We have to take this temperature difference that is in between the natural drought and artificial drought. So T2 minus T that we have to take and this temperature should be in Kelvin. So this is the formula. So it's a unit is also joule per kilogram of flue gas. So this is the formula that we have to use for the calculation of efficiency of chimney. Now suppose in question the value of H dash that is the height of flue gas column is not given then which formula we can use here. So H dash is equal to H. So this H is nothing but the height of chimney. H in the bracket M divided by M plus 1. So M is the mass of air supplied that we have to use multiplied by T2 by T1. So this T2 is the temperature of the flue gas due to natural drought divided by T1. So T1 is the temperature of the outside air. So this both temperature we have to use in Kelvin bracket complete minus 1. So suppose if we complete uh, this calculation then its unit should be in meter. So we have to give here the unit meter. We will solve one problem for the efficiency of the chimney. I will read what is the given question. Chimney height is equal to 50 meter. Temperature of flue gas with natural drought 367 degree Celsius. Temperature of waste gases using artificial drought 127 degree Celsius. Temperature of outside air 27 degree Celsius. If air supplied is 19 kilogram per kilogram of fuel burnt, determine the efficiency of chimney. Assume Cp 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin for the flue gases. So this was the given question. Now we will understand what is the given data. If we observe chimney height 50 meter, we will write as it is. Then the temperature of flue gases with natural drought is given. So temperature of flue gas with natural drought T2 in degree Celsius is given 367 degree Celsius. We have to convert it into Kelvin that is 367 plus 273 that is 640 Kelvin. 
then the temperature of flue gas or we can say chimney gas with artificial draught is given so we will say T is equal to 127 degree Celsius that is 400 Kelvin then T1 that is the temperature of outside air 27 degree Celsius which is equal to 300 Kelvin then the mass of air supplied 19 kilogram per kilogram of fuel and the specific heat of flue gas is 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin now we have to find out what is the efficiency of the chimney that is Nita C. So we have formula that is H dash G divided by 1000 into Cp in the bracket. Here we have to take T2 minus T. So this is the formula. Now for this, so I will repeat here the formula which is equal to H dash G divided by 1000 into Cp into T2 minus T. Now if we observe this Cp is given in kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. So we have to convert this Cp in joule per kilogram Kelvin. That's why we have to multiply here with 1000. Then temperature difference T2 minus T. So T2 640 minus T that is 400 we have to take. Now H dash. So this H dash is not given. So what is this H dash? That is the flue gas column or the artificial column of the flue gas that we have to find out. So we have formula for that that is H in the bracket M divided by M plus 1 into T2 by T1 minus 1 and its unit is meters. Now what is this H? So from the diagram we can say H is the chimney height. So chimney height is given 50 meter. What is this M? M is the Mass of air supplied that is 19 kilogram per kilogram of fuel. So we have to take 19 divided by 19 plus 1 multiplied by T2 by T1. So T2 is 640 and T1 that is the outside air temperature that is 300. So we have to put the value minus 1. So H dash is equal to 51.33. So when we put here the value, so I will put here 51.33 multiplied by 9.81 divided by we will put this value that is 1000 into cp 1.005 into t2 minus t that is 640 minus 400 so when we solve this we will get the answer 0 0.0021 now here we have to uh, multiply with 100 to get the answer because here the efficiency is given so the answer is 0.21 percent